What's going on, ladies and gents? I wanted to talk to you guys about a little character called Sino. Obviously, Sino is one of these characters that Genshin Impact have shown in their very early story preview trailers. And obviously, we've seen most of the characters that they want to release on certain regions that they are probably going to be releasing first. We've seen the release of Kamisada Aika from Inazuma, which is the region that they released in the earliest or in the latest for Genshin Impact Sino regions. And I feel like Sino is also going to be the first Sumeru character we might see from the region. Obviously, we have seen Kaza being the first to release, quote unquote, for our Inazuma region, but he's not quite the official official character that was sort of on Inazuma, right? You had different books, you had different talent materials, and I feel like that's a little bit, that makes a little bit of a difference, even though he is technically the first Inazuma character, but that is not what we're talking about here. Now, Sino looks like he is going to be a pyro polearm character, and personally, I think that is going to be super fun. I've yet to see a fun pyro character with a spear now obviously hu tao an awesome character has super unique abilities especially with her guide to afterlife being so unique allowing her to do much more damage based on her hp very unique everyone likes hu tao i do as well especially her design is one of the most fun looking in the game and i'm just really sad that i don't enjoy playing hu tao as much because of the amount of times you have to charge attack and then on charge attack it's just how she works and it really is difficult to use her especially with you know i don't have c1 so because i don't have c1 it is kind of difficult to use her i do wish for a character to be so much as you know it would be as fun to use if the stamina cost wasn't really that detrimental and i really hope what they do with sino isn't exactly like toma either toma is another spear polearm user and i feel like the pyro aspect of him isn't really there that much either pyro is so much more of an offensive type of character that shielding isn't really there. Um, I've seen Jinyan's shield also good, but I just, I don't know why they're making characters that have the pyro ability create shields. And I'm also talking about Yenfei. Yenfei does a shield, but you need her C4 to do it. And this shield is actually pretty good. You know, having Yenfei with the shield is actually really good. Jinyan's shield, not the greatest thing in the entire planet, especially because Shinyan just does physical damage, which is unfortunate. I do want to level up Shinyan. It would be actually really fun to do that. I have C6 Shinyan. It would be pretty awesome. But that's not what we're talking about. Now, Sino, I really hope doesn't follow suit of Toma. And I really hope that he doesn't do pyro attack that have to deal with charge attack. I hope he has some unique mechanic that makes him super powerful as well as unique. Maybe something mobile. I love mobile units that make, you know, allow you to move around, allow you to be fast, allow you to be quick. I really hope they do something with that. Even if he is a character that buffs other characters, for example, someone like Shen He, who is super, super cryo teammate support type of character in which you support only that element i feel like that would also be pretty unique and that would bring a whole new element to the actual pyro element itself i feel like that would be pretty cool and we would have a lot of new builds to see from characters that have the pyro element i'm really excited to see what they do with that and how well it works and i all i can do is speculate how good Sino would be because he looks like a pretty exciting character. I cannot wait to see some more stuff about him. Obviously, we haven't seen much of Sumeru lately, but maybe, just maybe, we might catch an awesome preview of Sumeru in Genshin Impact 2.7, the live stream event. That would be pretty awesome to see. Kind of want to see a bunch more of the Sumeru stuff. And having Sino be in that trailer is probably going to hype everyone up. It might revive, you know, people's love for the game. And it might get people more interested in the game once again. Obviously, there are there's a lot of things that Genshin has to do right and in this event. And it's kind of difficult now because we have to wish them the best at Shanghai. And they're having problems with COVID. And I've 
feel like we have to wish them all the best and hopefully all is well there and we we just we're just going to have to wait and see what they do with sino what they do with sumeru and hopefully we can see a push that uh, i know genshin can do because they have done that in the past they've done that with inazuma they've shown us how they're capable of releasing new content every patch to make it fresh interesting i really hope they don't do this single island type thing i hope they spread it out at least give us half of the region for a few re you know a few times and have the region again we're gonna have to wait and see if it's anything like breath of the wilds desert region it is going to be really fun and not to mention there's a lot of stuff that they can do with sumeru and hopefully they do you know, take their time on it and give us the best that they can with this new region and obviously we do have to keep an open mind that it is genshin impact at the very end and that means we're probably going to have to wait a bunch of patches so i think that is going to be it i'm pretty excited hopefully sino is an awesome pyro character that obviously uses the polearm and hopefully he has something unique to his actual kit to make him super fun and enjoyable and maybe that will be the pinnacle of the spear polearm uh pyro user i feel like that'd be awesome and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below are you guys excited for sumeru and sino obviously and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you guys like this type of video please consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video very soon Bye bye